Hi, today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's guide of where to buy and store your very first Bitcoin and altcoins. These are some of the sites that I've used and I believe them to be the most trusted. What I'll do is I'll put a links to all of these sites in the summary of this video so you can take a look for yourselves. I've also done full tutorials on all of these sites, so if you'd like to take a look at those, then please have a look through the series of these videos. What I'll do now is just take us through a brief overview of them. So first of all, I'm going to take us to Blockchain. So Blockchain is a software wallet. There are different types of wallet that you can have to store your Bitcoin and altcoins, which are software wallets, hardware wallets, and paper wallets. So first up, we're looking at blockchain. So with blockchain, you have the ability to buy uh, Bitcoin using a credit or debit card or purchasing via your bank transfer. You also have the ability to store Ethereum within this wallet as well. What you can do is you can use the exchange section within blockchain to exchange from Bitcoin once you've purchased it through to Ethereum. You then have a site called Coinbase. With Coinbase, you have the ability to buy the top three coins, so the big three, which are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Again, you can do this via credit or debit card or via bank transfer as well. Coinbase also have an um, offer on at the moment, which is if you sign up with their account and uh, deposit $100, you'll actually get $10 worth of free Bitcoin with them. Again, I'll put the link to the summary of this video. Both Coinbase and Bitcoin come with their own transaction fees. So these will vary depending on your location and which methods you choose to purchase your coins with. As you become a little more advanced and a little bit more um, familiarized with actually purchasing uh, Bitcoins, you can then move across to a site called GDAX. So GDAX is an exchange and allows you to purchase um, your coins and you can also save money on the transaction fees. Again, I've done a tutorial of how you actually go about doing that, but it is a slightly more advanced function. You then have Bittrex. So with Bittrex, you have to have purchased your first Bitcoin to begin with. Again, it's another exchange. So in here, you can buy a different types of alternative coins or altcoins as they're called. So you have the ability to purchase the likes of things like Civic or Ripple and different types of coins in there as well. There's a really good site called coinmarket.com. On here, it shows you the different types of coins that are available as well as their dominance in the market. So at the moment here, you can see that the um, Bitcoin dominance is at 62.7%. So those are overall the most popular um, and certainly you know, the ones that are most well known in terms of the different types of coins. Everything there after Bitcoin is known as an altcoin. So in this site, you can view the price of each coin, you can see the volume, the circulating supply, and how it's changed within a 24 hour period. If you click onto one of these as well, you can view information about the type of coin that you're interested in. So it'll give you information such as historical data, social markets, and different charts in here as well. If you're interested in finding a little bit further information about each coin, another good site to look at is coincheckup.com. If I click onto Ripple again for this example, you can then view a section called Purpose. So in this purpose section, they give you little short videos about obviously the purpose of each coin and it gives you a further description on what that coin is kind of aiming to do. So now that you've purchased your Bitcoin or altcoin, what you want to do is you want to place those into a wallet. Now Coinbase and Blockchain are software wallets like I explained and they're all good. However, what you also want to do is spread your risk onto a different type of wallet. Now what I currently use at the moment is the Ledger Nano S. It's a hardware wallet. The great thing about hardware wallets is the fact that you can take them offline. Therefore, they're less prone to get hacked. What I'll do is I'll put a link into the below of where you can purchase the Ledger Nano S. Another wallet that I really like is the Exodus wallet. So this is software that you install onto your device. So in here, it's got really nice look and feel, which is all kind of customizable. And it gives you a breakdown of your portfolio in terms of your different assets and your different coins. You can also um, exchange in here as well. And you can um, send and receive you know, Bitcoin or altcoins. Exodus have recently released a new version which is called Exodus Eden. Exodus Eden allows you to store additional coins within your wallet, such as the likes of Ripple. 
Again, you have the same features as you do within the Exodus wallet, such as sending and receiving and exchanging. Now, I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please give me a like. If you'd like to see more from me, then please hit subscribe. If there's anything you'd like me to cover that I've not already done so, then please put them into the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.